everybody. We're back with the author of Cosmic Queries, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Um, okay, you got you got a new book here. It's uh, out today. It's called Cosmic Queries. Okay, yeah. addressing questions like, what is life? How did it all begin? What is your favorite uh, big question to ponder, Neil Tyson? Yeah, so uh, I have many big questions to ponder. What I like about big questions is that they don't, you can't seal them up in a tidy answer. They're these dangling edges that force you to keep thinking and adding pieces and parts to it. So for example, how will it all end, all right? So there's like, how will Earth end? But that's boring, all right? We already know that. But how will the universe wait, end? Wait, how will Earth end? We got this one. Let me count. I want to get to, OK. <laughs> one sentence. Come on, whatever. <laughs> the sun expands? Okay. The sun expands? Yeah, sun ex the sun expands. Fine, move on. Oh, wait, that wait, one, no, was wait, that so it's, hard? <laughs> it's deadly. So the sun expands, Earth gets hot, oceans uh, enter a rolling boil, evaporate into the atmosphere. The atmosphere evaporates into space, and Earth becomes this charred ember as we descend into the cauldron that is the, the surface of the sun. And, and, and it is there that we vaporize. That's all, folks. Okay, now what's the big ending you're talking about? The big ending, no, the universe is accelerating in its expansion, which sounds peaceful enough, okay? I don't, I don't have a problem with that until you realize that that acceleration will not only outstrip all gravitational forces currently holding things together, if that acceleration continues, and there's no real reason to doubt it at this point, that it will, find, it will eventually overcome molecular bonds that are holding your flesh together. Wait a second. And after, wait, are you wait, saying I'm that, done. Are you saying I'm expanding too? Not yet, because the molecular forces remain stronger than the accelerating forces in the universe. But the accelerating forces will continue to gain strength as we expand. Because it's a property of the vacuum. And the bigger the universe is, the more vacuum we have. And this will continue, rip your, your molecules apart. Then it'll rip your atoms apart. And then there's a point where it rips the, what well, I shouldn't say rip, it separates them. Then the very fabric of space and time itself will fall victim to this expansion. And we call that the big rip. And I am terrified what that would look like and what that would feel like. And I lay awake at night looking up at the ceiling, wondering. Would there be, future. wouldn't there be some tremendous release of energy on each of these bonds being torn? So what happens is you get the, so there are other scenarios in the universe where you have tremendous releases of energy and you make basically other big bangs. And this is how you get the multiverse. And by the way, there are layers of multiverses that are currently. Did proposed. I just did I just reason my way to understanding the multiverse, Neil? A little bit. You you were I give you a B plus on where you were headed there. A bitty verse. Okay. I got a little itty bitty verse. <laughs> a, B, a, B, a B plus a verse. Uh, Neil, why so, are we, so why is the expansion is, accelerating? Well, we we don't know, but it is. We measure it, and we call the thing that's making that happen dark energy. We could call it Fred. It, 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 we don't. It, it, it is dark, and and we don't know what it's made of. It's called dark energy, but we don't really know. But we can measure it, and so we know it's real, and it is happening, and it is currently outstripping gravity in the largest of scales. So yeah. So so so. <laughs> If, if we don't have the big rip and we just expand into what we call the heat death, where we approach absolute zero and nothing happens, then the, 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 how will the world end? Not with a bang, but with a whimper. Not in fire, but in ice. Well, Neil, on that poetic note, thank you so much for being here. Cosmic Queries, Star Talk's guide to who we are, how we got here, and where we're going is available now. Ponder the biggies with Neil deGrasse if I can Tyson. Leave you with, if I can leave you with one thought. Yes. Learn to love the questions themselves. Because therein are the seeds of all curiosity and wonder. Why should I? <laughs> we'll be right back with a special performance by John Baptiste. <laughs>